This is the East Coast Main Line, one of the UK's vital economic arteries. A third of our population live within 20 miles of a station on this line, and every day people and businesses from north to south rely on it. We've got new and improved trains coming in, and we're adding many more services than we have now, which is great news. But that's a lot of pressure on a very busy line like this. The main challenge is it was built in Victorian times, and one feature hasn't changed all that much, the trackside signalling. As you know, trains travel along the same piece of track at high speeds and take a long distance to stop. To keep them apart, we divide the track into fixed sections called signal blocks. The trackside signals tell drivers how far they are from the next train, so they know how fast to go to be able to stop. This system is how we've been keeping trains a safe distance apart for over a hundred years. The trouble is, the way the railway is operated is limited by the size of these blocks. And on a mixed-use railway like this, they're fixed for the worst-case scenario. The system can't tell one train from another, and the trains are only told what to do at these fixed signals. This limitation stops the railway from performing at its full potential and results in thousands of hours in delays for passengers every year. But there is a known solution. It lies in digital technology, already used in Europe and being deployed across the world as the global standard. The European Train Control System, or ETCS, is transforming the way railways are managed. It works by replacing the old trackside signalling with in-cab train control and traffic management. This system recognises the different types of trains. Both track and train can talk to each other continuously, so they make best use of the tracks available and can respond in real time. This creates a more dynamic railway, one that is more responsive, more resilient and recovers quicker when things don't go to plan. And most crucially, because train speed is continually supervised by the system, the railway is safer. These are the building blocks of a modern, high-performing, right-time railway. The result is a step change in the way trains are operated and how passengers and users experience the railway. But can we afford this digital upgrade to track and train? The real question should be, can we afford not to? The bottom line is, the old signalling needs to be renewed anyway, and in the long term, ETCS will be cheaper than continually patching up what we have. As for these, 70% of passenger trains on East Coast South are already fitted with ETCS, and many of these travel the whole line. So we've got digitally enabled trains, but without digitally enabled signalling. You want to get the full benefit. Now, because this is about both track and train, we need a fundamentally different approach to make it happen. One that brings our industry closer together. It means everyone working in partnership. Operators, network rail, government and technology providers for the benefit of passengers and users. And that is in our hands. Because the East Coast Main Line is a railway with enormous potential, it's time to unlock it. For everyone who uses it and for the communities it serves. The opportunity is here. The time is now.